So here's the thing. You have an old 2011 iMac that you want to upgrade, but Apple doesn't want you to. They want you to pay thousands of pounds for a new product. Open Core Legacy Patcher enables people like you and me to install newer OS operating systems on unsupported Macs. The highly skilled nerds over at OpenCore have produced this wonderful piece of software that I'll show you how to create a bootable USB with the latest operating system to try and run on your unsupported Mac. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below and I'll try my best to help everyone out. Now I just want to be very clear that I won't be showing you how to install Mac OS. I'll save that for another video, but this is mainly about how to make the USB. Remember, you're going to need two things here. You're going to need open core legacy patcher software and a 16 gigabyte USB drive. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to open core's website. Click create Mac OS installers. Double click open core package. And then you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find GUI. Patcher GUI. There you go. Double click on that. Wait for that to download. Uh, depending on your download speed, this may take a while. Once it's downloaded, double click open. Wait for the installer. Click open. This is going to ask for your password. Once you've entered your password, you're going to need to wait until the components have installed. And then this is the important part. You're going to need to download the Mac OS installer of your choice. Here you have options for Monterey. Ventura, Sonoma, etc. Or you can click download uh, older versions, but select the one you want to download. Uh, again, depending on your internet connection speed, this may take a while. Now it's validating the installer. This Again, this may take a while. OS installer. Once it's complete, it's asks you if you want to create an installer, click yes. Select the OS version and select your USB drive. Be warned, this will wipe your USB drive. So make sure you've got the right one plugged in. Click yes. This is going to take a while. Now it's creating the EFI folder. Very important stage here. You want to select your USB drive. Make sure you select your USB drive, not your hard disk. Once this is selected, it's going to pop up with the EFI folder. Click yes. This is now installing the EFI folder onto the USB drive so that it's bootable. Now reboot with the USB plugged in and hold down options. Once you're in, select EFI boot. Install will take around 20 minutes, depending on your system. But once you're in, you can see here now we're at iMac and we've got Sonoma installed. Now the lovely people at OpenCore will, will install OpenCore the same uh, software that we use to make the USB, they will install in the applications folder. And then you're going to need to click post, uh, post install root patch. This is basically going to install all of the uh, patches needed for your hardware, the GPU, etc, etc, the audio devices. Once this is done, this may take a, a while. you're going to want to click build and install open core. Now this is ne like before when we've done the USB, this is now going to install the EFI folder onto your hard drive. So you don't need the USB to boot. It's an important step. 
make sure you select your hard drive, not the USB. Select the EFI folder. And that is complete. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.